plot. It's sort of this justice run amok because the wrong man is accused of stealing a file, which probably wasn't that important to begin with, but it's not. There are secrets within secrets. Ooh. And as the novel unfolds, um, more and more information is exposed. The relationship between um, Simon and Giles, how they met at Cambridge. One of the hints is Cambridge. Where did the, all those British pr spies come from? Um, <laughs> so, um, so as you read it, just when you think you've got it resolved and resolved, something else uh, comes out. Kind of a perfect book for you because it's a little bit of a thriller and a little bit of history too, Richard. Yes, and I love the pacing. All right, that's Helen Dunmore's Exposure and we've also got Men's the Living by Melis de Keringal. Keringal, I think. And we're going to give both of these away. You have to come here to La Maison Radio-Canada to pick them up. And, Richard? It's come between um, 9 and noon. Uh, lunch hour at the desk is 12.15 to 1.15. I would give it 15 minutes leeway on yes. either end. Do not come Friday afternoon. Um, you'll be out of luck. Right. And uh, you have a skill testing question. Yes. Today is the 405th anniversary of the performance of What Play? Ooh, let's do that by telephone. We will take the fifth caller. 514-597-4500. Uh, 1-877-597-4500. Richard, we'll see you in the next half hour. S see you in the next half hour. That is Richard King, our regular book columnist. He joins us every Wednesday. Let's have a little bit of music. Montreal singer-songwriter Ariane Moffat She's had her hands full recently. She is a coach on La Voix, which is, of course, Quebec's version of The Voice. She's also been voice acting in the Quebec dub version of the new Jungle Book movie and promoting an album, Vendeurs Heures, Vendeurs. So she's also got a concert this Saturday at the Corona. Show starts at 8. Here she is with Miami. <laughs> 